Hello guys, hi. Good day guys, I hope you're having a great day. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sandra. If this is your first time coming across this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up, share my videos. Most importantly, please subscribe. And if you're an OG, thank you so much. Thank you for staying. I appreciate your support. So today, this today is Saturday, and I'm going to the market to get stuff to make soup. I don't know the soup I'm going to be making. I don't know. I'm confused. But I'm craving this catfish soup. There is catfish soup I normally make. It's my signature soup. <laughs> That's actually what I'm craving right now. And hopefully if I get to see catfish in the market close to my house, because I don't intend going far, I'll buy and make. If not, I'll just end up making something else. There has to be soup in the house because of people that like to swallow in this house. <laughs> so guys, yeah, come with me to the market. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to show you guys how I'm making this soup. So guys, this is the fish. These are the fishes I bought. I bought one for 800 and the other one for 1000 so basically everything here is 1800 it's cheap right <laughs> yeah it's very cheap so this one i think i got this one 1000 then this one 800 but looking at it right now it feels like they're even the same size i don't understand <laughs> whatever it's not very big boy it's uh, it's okay it is okay to serve the purpose yes so basically this is it. i'm going to wash it right now and i like using hot water first because the draw draw and yamayama is too much and uh, i wonder people that use cold water to wash their catfish because how now nah? it won't go out now nah? see this there's this slimy thing that never goes out no matter how you use cold water to wash it so I'm going to wash it right now with hot water and boiling the hot water I'll be using. I'll show you guys. going to let it get cold a little bit because I can't dip my hand into it right now. You see the things that came out of it? These are the slimy things. As you're putting hot water on it, automatically it's going out on its own. You don't even need to do much. But when the water gets cold a little bit, or you can just pour out this one and now use cold water to rinse it. And you see how firm the fish will feel, and then it is ready to be used. Ooh. So, guys, this is the fish. Our catfish is ready. See how fresh it is. I used the hot water to wash it very well, and then I rinsed it with cold water. And this is the periwinkle I'll be using. Um, I saw these big big periwinkles in the market and this here is Uziza leaf. I'm just going to use small because I want the aroma and the taste. Here we have a mixture of 
crayfish and fresh pepper blend grinded together and then onions then salt to taste maggi and palm oil i'll just use very small palm oil then for thickening i'm going to be using this this is all for for thickening so you can use whatever thickener you like you can choose to use um achi you can choose to use coco yam you can choose to use yam you can choose to use some people use biscuits carving biscuit they grind it very well or flour so whichever thickener but for me i'm using this one just going to use small so basically this is everything i'll be using for this my catfish soup yes basically this is it just this just this on a budget you don't need to break the back to enjoy yourself so this is everything here is less than 3k i'm sure because yeah the fish won't eat this is 400 this is 50 naira i already have crayfish and it has onions i have palm oil pepper and salt so basically this is it now let's start cooking so guys let's start cooking the first thing i do for this method is i put my fish in the pot first because like this now the cooking has started and there is no going back this cooking takes like 10 minutes depending on how fast your burner is doesn't take long once you've prepared everything my fish is here the next thing i add my onions And then put my crayfish. Just add it. Just put it there. And yes, the next thing I have to put right now has to be my salt. My salt goes right in. Okay. So yes, then I add my nine cubes and so that's it just going to rinse this plate with crayfish so that's it and i'll add water to it to let it boil at this point i'm going to add my palm oil and that's because i don't want it to overcook so i want the oil to boil very well so i'm going to add it on time and let it boil i'm just going to let the fish boil now mind you this this fish you don't have to turn it so you only shake the pot when you want to mix anything so the fish is done now scatter so yeah our soup is boiling at this point i'm just going to add the thickener i'm going to add the thickener to it please one thing if you know is that you don't have to stir too much even if you have to stir please be careful so that the fishes will not scatter any small pine so just leave it let it boil as it's boiling it's going to mix very well the, the thickener is going to dissolve well and everything is going to be even this soup is almost ready like this now like this now the aroma is is giving what it is supposed to be giving so yeah let's wait a little bit longer alex stop it so guys our soup is almost ready. I'm just going to add the pairing group to it. So guys, at this point, I added my periwinkle and oziza leaf, and that's it. Our soup, our catfish soup, is ready. And guys. 
you don't want to you i'm sure you want to try this just try it and tell me what you think and thank you so much for watching please do not forget to subscribe leave a thumbs up share our video and drop your comments if you try it out tell me how it tastes it tastes good <laughs> all right thank you bye